So since I don't know what happened to my plans this week, we're gonna film. <laughs> Hey beautifuls! So today I'm giving you part three of my closet declutter series. Now I know when I started the series I said I wasn't going to buy any more clothes, however I did buy some new things. Nothing nearly as massive as what it was before. I still have a ton of hangers left over from the last two times I did closet declutters. Also I might do another makeup decluttering video because I feel like I just have a lot of highlighters and blushes and stuff that I just don't use anymore. That might be coming soon within the next few months or so. Maybe after Christmas? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I'll change my mind between now and then. If you guys want to see me declutter, today we're doing my crop tops and bodysuits and all that kind of stuff that I like to wear with high-waisted shorts. High-waisted things are my absolute favorite. I'm wearing high-waisted leggings right now. These ones are actually from pink and they have like the uh, knees cut out of them which are really really cute and it's just the style that I like because when I'm not feeling so secure about myself I really just like anything that kind of sucks me in and just you know flattens me out anything that sucks me in and makes me feel comfortable however I'm starting to feel a little bit better about myself so that's a good thing and working out a little bit more and not eating so much crap and trying to eat more veggies and by the way I know my hair looks weird that all being said if you guys want to see this declutter it's probably gonna be really quick compared to my last two so just keep watching and let's just get started Start time. So I will go on record and say I know that like on camera like my body don't look the best like I'm quite aware of this this is the way that I look and if people don't like it then you could just leave my channel let's just be honest here so I've just noticed that about myself the last few videos nothing that nobody has said or anything but I'm in a weird place with my body trying to love myself again so I'm sorry if I'm just like like weird I don't know I have moved a lot of my stuff I used to have my tank tops over here now I keep like new clothes over here so I have a new sweater here I haven't had a chance to wear yet I have this pink sweater that I have worn and I was I thought that was fruit flies on it I was gonna cry this fruit fly season here I'm going insane it's really driving me nuts. I'm not a disgusting person, but they're just everywhere, and I can't stand it. And of course, I have my alien bodysuit. Shout out to Stepda Travels on Instagram, because she DM'd me and was like, you need to get this. I agree. I'm not wearing it to Halsey, sadly, just because I feel like I won't be, like, I'll just get really, really hot. I am going to be wearing that within the next few weeks or so, maybe my birthday. I don't know yet. Start over here. I have a lot of crop sweatshirts. I did just recently buy these, so I'm not going to get rid of them. This white one from Pink, which is really cute. It's like that, plain and white. It has a little hood on there just for when I don't want to wear a regular sweatshirt. And I also have one in black, too. I did get these during the sale, I believe. Yes, I got them fairly recently back in January, so I'm definitely keeping these. Just says love pink all up the sides of the sleeves. Very cute. I do, again, recommend if you want anything from Pink, just keep it, like, screenshot it on your phone save it in your Instagram like you have like collections which I love I'm obsessed with that definitely do that and then go back to it during the sale and guaranteed seven times out of ten you may find it sometimes I don't find the things that I really want sometimes I just end up getting them if I have an angel reward or something so I'm just throwing that out there the leopard shirt I just wore in my favorites which I absolutely love it it's so comfortable and so cute and I love that on the bottom it says don't underestimate me because I feel like a lot of people have been underestimating me that don't even know me shout out to my cousin because she knows what's up with that but but I feel like I have an awakening happening in my life right now, so just you wait. Sam, that looks so corny. I know. I'm sorry. This white one, which is extremely see-through. It's kind of like shirt material. It's a ribbed material from Forever 21. It's very cute. I do like to wear this on occasion. This is more of like a regular shirt than a sweatshirt. It's still really cute and croppy. Sometimes I feel like crop stuff like that's like loose and flowy looks weird on me because it just cuts off here. Then I have big hips, as y'all know, so I don't know. I have pink sweater, which is so cute. I've had this for years. I'm not getting rid of it because it's very, very comfortable. And I can easily tie this up and wear cropped or I could just wear it over what I'm wearing at the moment or if it's a cool day or something this has been around with me for years and can you believe at one time this was like 50 bucks and I paid that that's insane I would never pay $50 for this now looking back I'm like why did you do that because I wasn't thinking and I was young but these are really cute I actually saw a girl I don't know if it was in someone's video or what they had a gray version of this and they wore it with high-waisted shorts and it was really cute I'm definitely keeping mine because I still love it and I do still wear it next we have like basically the light pink version of that white pink crop hoodie I just showed you guys has the same emblems on the side same style just without a hood and a different color really adorable and I'm keeping that because that is also fairly new this oversized crappie shirt from Charlotte Russe it says heartbreak highway on there because I can relate to that so much since I feel like I've had my heart broken a lot in life a lot of you guys probably have too so I just thought it was really cute it was on sale when Charlotte Russe had this big sale and it was free shipping on anything so I ended up getting this for probably like five to ten bucks which is a really good deal since this was I think originally 25 and I believe this is an extra large so if you can find this anywhere very comfortable very light and flowy and adorable for fall I have a few bodysuits in here first we have this one from H&M which I have worn a couple of my videos last year and I do want to keep it because I do want to wear it again and it just is a little bit of 
have a turtleneck right there. It's got like quarter length sleeves, but it's just your average bodysuit. Very comfortable, very lightweight, which is awesome because it looks like a very heavy sweatery material, especially when I wear it, but it's actually not, which is awesome. Really love this. I'm keeping it because I would like to keep wearing that. Oh, hello. I have some okay okay i have a couple crop tops that i was just too lazy to put on the hangers this one is by the brand atmosphere from premark and it's actually too small on me because the time that i wore it last year i think fourth of july or something like that the food truck festival my boobs were so tight in this i could not wear a bra it was like restricting me so i think i am going to pass this along because this is a size 10 and i vary in the sizes at premark because they have a lot of different like styles of clothing and stuff so it depends if i'm like a 14 a 12 a 10 usually i'm around a 12 or maybe a tent it just depends on the item of clothing so it's really cute has little lacy bits underneath there so it is nice and flowy but I am gonna pass it along because it just it suffocates me and then I have this one which is also from Primark I'm not getting rid of because it's so cute and comfortable really adorable pink crop top and has a rib kind of lining in the back or caged I should say and this is a size large I don't know so like I said their sizing varies depending on what you buy but I'm definitely keeping that and that's gonna go back on the crop top hanger oh gosh this is the hanger I'm scared of this is my bodysuits hanger as you guys can see I have the American flag one I haven't worn that so I'm gonna put it actually on the alien one right here so I know that I I have still to wear it which is kind of sad I have a section of my closet of clothes I have not worn yet Does that make me a shopping addict or what <laughs> these are all of my bodysuits for the most part except for this this is not a bodysuit first one we have here I did wear this in a video it's from forever 21 it's just this wife beater ribbed white tank sort of bodysuit and it has a low back on there it's very cute I did wear this without a bra and it did kind of constrict my boobs so I will point that out there and it was also around 10 bucks so I am gonna keep it because I do want to wear it some more I will say that if you do get the same sort of material one or same sort of style from forever 21 be aware of some of them they're extremely see-through hence why I didn't wear a bra with it because I didn't want it to like poke out it's still really cute for the price just the see-through part I'm not a fan of this pink one from pink which I got in a outfit deal and I absolutely love it it is so cute extremely comfortable on me it just has the little dog detail right there so it's relatively simple which I do like with a lot of pink clothing as y'all know so I am keeping that because it is new this is not a bodysuit I don't know why this is on here but this is just one of my like touristy shirts from Atlantic City I do like to wear this either with high-waisted shorts as a crop top or I'll just wear it normal with regular shorts or whatever so that's just what it looks like I am keeping it though it just doesn't belong there this bodysuit from pink as well it just says pink on the back very simple maroony purple color perfect for fall so I am keeping this I want to wear more bodysuits I feel like I got really into them and then I got really over it really quickly so I just want to I want to wear them okay leave me alone so next we also have this still has tags on it that's awful oh okay oh okay Batman superhero bodysuit which is so adorable I don't know if I'm gonna keep this I'm very on the fence but it has like a detachable cape on the back if you guys can see I got it from Walmart and it was $12.88 so really good price they also had like superman wonder woman but i really like this one because i love harley quinn and even though i love harley quinn and joker you know batman it kind of ties with everything so i think i may keep this because i do want to try and wear it and if i end up not wearing it within the next few months then i will get rid of it but i think we need to put this on the hanger of clothes i haven't worn yet shopping at it crabs i will say i bought that bodysuit like such a long time ago like months ago like in the spring <laughs> And then the last bodysuit, which is just my plain one. This is the first one I think I ever got from Pink. I do like Pink's bodysuits for the most part. I did buy a gray one. I ended up getting rid of it because it was the same style as the pink one I just showed you with the v-neck and everything. But it just felt a lot tighter on me than that one. So I was like, I think I'm just going to pass on it. But this is just a plain black one. Standard, you know, tank top style. Just says pink on the back. Very simple and very cute. So I am definitely keeping that. So far, we're not doing well. So next right here, we have my first hanger I like to hello I like to have a bunch of crop tops on one hanger just because it saves space saves me hangers it is a little bit of a pain in the ass at times I won't lie it gets the job done for me first one on this hanger is just the same as that little pink crop top with the caged back from Primark definitely keeping that because they're both new and they're very very cute and like I say in each one of my videos there's a lot of clothes that I have packed that are in my dirty laundry I'm gonna be wearing a crop top on Friday you guys will hopefully see a picture on my Instagram of that a lot of my stuff is not in my closet so if it seems like I'm forgetting things that's why so next we have this one which is so cute I can't remember where did I get this from Barrage and it's just this cute white crop top and it has like the kind of dip to it it really is 
awesome at hugging your boobs when you wear a bra with it. It's so adorable. And in general, so I am keeping that because it's plain and cute and I do like to wear that. And I feel like when I was like when I was working out like all the time last summer, I was really obsessed with crop tops. That's why I have so many. I have one from Forever 21. It's just this plain gray one, very cute and it's really comfortable. However, I feel like it's not like I like them to have a little bit of length to them and this one just kind of stays under my boobs. I don't feel that bold to wear that one, but I am keeping it because it is new. Same with this one. This one's also from Forever 21 black and I think this were like three dollars a piece red one also from forever 21 the same kind of almost almost the same style as that white one I showed you but it is new so I am going to keep that florally one this is one of the first crop tops I ever bought it still fits me so I do keep it and it's just really cute and I don't really like a lot of florally things so I'm gonna keep it for now if I get over it or if I just don't want it anymore then I will pass it along but as of right now I do still want to keep it I did get rid of a lot of my crop tops before when I was bigger because as I lost weight they got really loose on me and it was kind of like odd so I ended up getting rid of a lot of those. They're Apostle actually and just this ribbed one it's all black ribbed material really cute. I do have another plain one like that but I think overall these kind of crop tops like the spaghetti strap ones are definitely my favorite. I do have a lot of t-shirty ones but in the summer I feel like I can't wear them because as most of you know I get hot very easily. I don't know if it's just because I'm a big girl. I've talked about it in videos a couple times because it's funny that my friends Danielle and Alba they both get cold all the time and they're smaller than me so I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's just because like I'm a bigger girl or what and I just I get hot all the time and I just can't deal with like a lot of jackets and sweaters like you know a lot of girls like to be cute in the fall and wear like cardigans and be like I'm trendy I get too hot and I have to take it off halfway through I could be trendy for like maybe a half hour and then I'm over it we have another hanger of smaller crop tops but these are more of like my loosey-goosey ones that I just like to wear if I'm not feeling the most confident about myself which a lot of you guys saw me wear these this past summer so the first one I believe is from Air Apostle again just has these little palm trees so I'm keeping her and then we have this one which I didn't even know I had till I went through like my little clothes section here so I think this might be the next declutter video getting rid of a lot of stuff in I don't even know what you want to call it the storage I have all my night shirts in and stuff like that so this one is from I believe this is from Air Apostle and it's just an extra large but it's really loose and flowy I like to wear this with a bralette the last time that I wore it and it's just flowy and adorable so I'm keeping that and this one I just also recently purchased so I'm not getting rid of it This is from Charlotte Russe. It's from the brand Amb Ambiance or whatever and It's one of those ones where it's like really tight at the top and then the style kind of goes out like that If you get what I mean, it's really loose and flowy ribbed kind of style So I'm keeping her and then these two are both of my pink sleep crop tops But I wear them as regular ones because I don't care This one just says pancake please and that says fashionably latte I just recently got them so they are staying t-shirt crop tops like I was telling you guys about this one I really like I really love this whole style this one is from H&M I remember I got this on clearance for like three dollars it's an off-the-shoulder mint top it has some lace right here and then it's just kind of a lacy material very very cute so I am definitely keeping this because it's just really nice for the spring oh if I can get her off the hanger that'd be nice lacy one which is just really really adorable and it's all like lace in the back but the front has like a little bit of coverage to it this is from garage I believe I got it for like I think it was on clearance for like five bucks and then right here I have two of these just regular plain ones these are brand is Zanana Zanana Outfitters I don't know from this little store in David's Mall called Against All Odds there's a little white one and then there is also a little gray one I do like to wear these with like leggings and stuff when I'm feeling confident but at the moment you like I said I'm not feeling the best <laughs> but I'm trying to love myself again so it's a little bit of a struggle at the moment which is something I want to throw out there that you're gonna have days where you hate your body you're gonna have days that you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror you're gonna have days where you just feel like complete crap because you just don't feel confident in yourself you don't like the way that you look but honestly my best advice I don't really have the best advice in the world I'll admit but exercising working out eating right it helps so much it has boosted my confidence so much and I notice when I eat healthier and work out more I just feel better and I feel like a better version of me and just, when I was working out last summer like that was everything to me and I was so obsessed with it and I was so much happier than I have been this whole year so that's kind of what I'm trying to get back to right now but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you are suffering or you do hate your body or you wish you could do something just you can do something about it and it is easy once you get into it, it doesn't take a lot even a walk every single day I see 
couple of you guys on Instagram started like going on walks and stuff, which is awesome because even something so small like that can make such a big difference. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm not the biggest body confident person in the world, even though I post a lot of pictures on Instagram when I'm feeling myself. But for the most part, like in videos like this, when I edit it back, I hate it. I hate how I look. I'm like, I'm fat. I'm disgusting. But you know what? This is me and I can change it. What I see about myself matters. So that's all that matters. And that's all that should matter to you guys. So anyway, back to the video. I have this Charlotte Bruce top, which is so cute. It's very flowy, has a lot of floral flowers on there, roses, which you guys know I'm not a big fan of florally things. So this is really adorable and you can wear this off the shoulder. So I am going to keep it just because it's like kind of like a nicest, nicest, a nice-ish top too that I could just like wear and throw on if it's like a nice occasion or something. Then we have more flowy ones. This is from the Bethany Moda Air Apostle collection. It says keep on keeping on. You guys have seen me wear this shirt so many times. I love it. It just has a nice message to it and it's really, really cute. A couple of these pink flowy tops, as you guys can see, they are cropped. I could wear these with regular leggings and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like these are just more of cropped for me. Here is a salmon-y color and this is the gray one that says pink across it, which is still really cute. So I am keeping them because again, they are relatively new. Another crop top, I recently got this from Five Below, believe it or not. It's one of those ones that has like a strap and then there's a little arm cut out to it, but this is by the brand Laugh Out Loud Always. Just really cute and it's black and it's just flowy and keeping that. So another really loose flowy one, I have this one. It says today has been canceled. I have been wearing this all summer. It's one of my favorites and it's just really cute because it has like a nice little saying on there and it just has pink on the back. So very simple. This one, I believe I bought this a while ago. It's from Premark. It says call me and it's a little black t-shirt. It's just really, really adorable and I feel like I'm going to start to wear a lot more high-waisted leggings. So I'm going to definitely be wearing a lot more of these little t-shirt tops because they're just so cute. Oh my God, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is when pink had like the off the shoulder, like crappy shirts and everyone was like, oh my God, what? So this is kind of one of those originals and it's just plain pink. Plain, I like to throw this on if I'm going to the beach or something or to the pool or just want to throw it on in general. It's just adorable and easy to throw on. So I am still keeping it because it's still good and I still do wear it. Oh, I'm not getting rid of this. You guys have seen this one. This is one of my first ever crop tops. So it has this very special place in my heart. It says pretty please. It's from Divided or H&M and it's just so, so cute. I like getting a lot of my crop tops from Premark, H&M, Forever 21, anywhere that's like cheap-ish because I don't wear crop tops as much as I wear regular clothes or regular shirts. So it's like, I don't mind if the quality is a little crappy, but for the most part, a lot of these have held up very well in the wash throughout the years from H&M. This one is a off the shoulder kind of crop top and it is a ribbed material. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or not because it's just a little weird on me. I don't know. I think I might part with this one because I have not worn it or have an attempt to wear it in a very long time. So we're gonna part with him. See, I told you I would get rid of some black t-shirt it kind of looks like the call me one but it's just plain from h&m this one is a large i usually get them either in larges or mediums depending because sometimes i want it to be a little tighter sometimes i want it to be a little looser it just depends on the style so that's i really love this mint color can't you guys tell this one is from garage and it's just a t-shirt light and flowy easy to wear so this one is also staying because it is relatively new is that it wow okay so that, those were all of my crop tops and body suits i hope you guys enjoyed this closet declutter and helped you in some way. I know I didn't get rid of that much, like two things, but I feel like that's better than not getting rid of anything at all, like I keep saying in each one of these videos, but it just makes me happy when I do get rid of things, and I do want to wear these shirts a lot more, so I think I'm going to stop putting them all in one hanger because I forget what I have. If you guys have any suggestions of how I should store my crop tops, should I just store them on here and get rid of some of like my, put like my camis back in the closet or my tank tops back in the closet, or should I, you know, put all of my scarves somewhere else like just let me know if you guys have any suggestions for storage because as you guys know I'm getting married next year I keep repeating it because in case you're you guys ugh. in case some of you are new here and don't know I'm getting married next year so I'm doing this series to clean out my closet and eventually clean out my room because I have honestly outgrown this room I'm gonna be 25 and it's it's time for me to move on it really is and I'm nervous as hell about it but I kind of don't want to drag so much crap to wherever I'm gonna live I don't know if Steve and I are gonna get an apartment if we're gonna get a house like what's the deal is right now but eventually for when that happens I do want to be like a little bit decluttered and a little bit you know I have a bad habit with buying clothes and shopping addiction if you've seen my video about it that all being said I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you'd like to see more of me 
and like this video if you enjoyed and you want to see more closet declutters in the future. Again, please let me know suggestions for like my crop top storage. I kind of don't want to keep them in the closet anymore. I kind of want to put them like on a shelf like this or maybe put them here. But a lot of this is like my wedding stuff, so I don't know yet. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Uh, now I gotta put this all back. Oh, all right, whatever. That's fine. I know. My, my life's a mess. My room's a mess. Everything has clutter everywhere. It's just the story of... I think it's time to practice.